Last episode, we installed a Phil's rotary boot seal, we aligned the trunk lid, and we popped a shiny new badge on the lid. Today we delve deeper into a Phil's rotary rubber kit for a Mazda RX-3. We learn a lot about how things fit, and more importantly, we discover a true cost, a jeopardy, in cutting corners during a restoration. Have a look. So go brew yourself a cup of joe or pop open a cold one. Let's talk shop. Turns out there's debris and shit in here from being an old door. Well, that's broken glass. Obviously the window got broken at one point. I'm noticing that the door stoppers from Phil's comes with the Mazda part number stamped right on it. Gotta love it. Where right, they stay. You get a front right and a front left in the new old car company rubber kit. It comes with the clips. Lay it out. So I've laid it in its channel on the top where there are no clips. Um, I'll tuck it into this ridge. And then following down, you get to where your clips take over. You know, and there's the holes in the door. You go all the way down and underneath, clips go in there. Using the smallest, you know, small, standard, not a big fatty. I just want to help it into the channel. Once you get it started, it cooperates pretty well. You can actually hear it snapping into place. Yeah. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna hey, get pal. Going. I probably won't be back before. So I'm gonna give you hugs now. So I'll see you later. All right, pal. Interrupting your video. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. All right. See you later. Right, buddy. See you in two weeks. Vegas. I've got a couple of these clips that don't seem to want to seat all the way in. So I'm using a blunt punch to. Just encourage them. This is the same blunt punch I used on the door stoppers. And when it clicks in, you know you're in. By the way, Here's a close-up of the channel the door seals fit into along the top. It's the sides and underside that have the white plastic clips for anchors. And we've got an issue with the right side door seal. First of all, this one's put in funny. See, the rest of them go inside the rubber. But the thing is, the rubber turns a corner, the points where the clips go turn a corner, and it goes from going underneath to on the side. You can even see where the side holes are supposed to be. Well, they didn't finish this piece by putting the clips in. Fresh out of the package, those things are popping out. This guy's in sideways. And these were never put in. 
There's supposed to be clips all down that ridge. In dealing with Troy over at Phil's Rotary, he took care of it immediately and sent us another one. All right, gonna do some window felt. Got some from Phil's Rotary here. And we're gonna check it out, put it in the car, see how we're doing. Spent a long time on and off camera trying to work the felt channel into the lower section of the door. Phil's rotary seal is an issue in the rail that's behind this panel. So it's coming out. It's just too thick. It's too thick for the rail that goes down the door. This is the one I got from Jiro 777 Taiwan. That one seemed to go right down. That was really easy. The felt window channel seal I got from Thailand, a guy named Hira or Jira7777. Um, a link to his seller's page on eBay is in the description down below. His fit the lower channel better, much better, because of the way the profile looks. What I think I'm gonna do though, is I really like how the Phil's rotary seal is thicker in its profile. So I'm going to use it for the window frame, which should help me avoid any wind noise. The last thing I want to hear is wind noise when I'm booking down the road at 100 miles an hour, or even 50 miles an hour, any miles an hour. I don't want to hear wind noise. I'd rather hear the purr of my rotary. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to snip this off right about down here and um, I'll take the Phil's rotary channel down the window frame through this little triangle and down to where it'll meet the one I got from Thailand which has the smaller profile and from what I understand Clark's rubber in Australia also sells that smaller profile felt channel seal also called a Bailey channel seal. If I find that the Phil's rotary seal is too thick a profile to accept the glass as I roll the window up, then in a worst case scenario is I just get more from the guy in Thailand. Now there's numerous guys in Thailand selling this on eBay, but Euro7777 is the guy that I bought from, and that's what fit my car. And this channel's going right down too, with this Taiwan seal. So remember, this is Phil's, the nice thick profile for the window. This is the Taiwan seal going into the lower rail. Okay, let's take a look and see how far down that went. This side's easy to see. Oh, it's still got a ways to go. So I found it easier to roll up the window and just pull the felt. A lot easier than trying to cram it from the top. And we're there. Matter of fact, I went a little far. So I'll fix that. So we just pulled the felt from above and now it's lined up nice and good. And I think a good spot to snip it might be right here. I'll snip it right here and I'll have the fills channel seal go all the way to the this there's a seam right there. A seam between the metals. You see the metals? No you can't because there's bloody stuff in the way. Now that I have it figured out where I want to terminate this lower channel. I could probably snip it out of the vehicle and then slide it in and it's really easy to get at this piece here. That's what I'm going to do. Snipping it out of the vehicle. Easy to get to. There's where I marked it. Wow, that's a short piece. This is a short piece. Okay, if that's all it takes, then that's all it takes. And the upper section will be fills. 
Yeah, really easy to get this piece in. Just roll the glass all the way up, put your fat arm in there, and you got it. See how that rolls. Rolls nice, doesn't budge. Okay, I'll finish this window with the fills. Fill? So let there be no confusion here. That wider channel needs the wider seal. That's why it's there. And the more narrow channel needs the more narrow seal. So you need both. Don't let these guys tell you, you know, one channel fits all. You could put the smaller channel all the way up and around your window frame. I'm not gonna. You need them both. So, it, because of the drag, it wouldn't push down from the top, so I pretty much had to drag it down. You know, roll the window all the way up, and then I could reach to where the wider profile seal was, and then just pulled it down. So now it's just a matter of tucking it back in the channel and finishing off that job. And coincidentally, I checked another vehicle, and there is a split between these two pieces. So I gotta cut that section. Piece of cake. There's the two pieces tucked. All right, let's tuck this back in its channel. It goes up nice and easy. Nice and easy. You know, that's easier than my green car ever was. I like that. So, conclusion for my car, the Phil's Rotary Felt Channel Window Seal is perfect fit for the window frame. Um, I'll, we're talking the larger profile frame. Goes all the way down to about here. And on this side of the car, Goes down to about here or here. Um, below that is a more narrow channel. You need a different seal. So make no mistake, you need both window seals. Um, these guys that are advertising them as all you need for the windows, you need them both. You need the fat profile for the window frame. You need the thinner profile for the rails that go down the doors on front of the door and the rear of the door. This is the same dimension as the rail in the C-pillar window frame. So you're going to need a one, two, three, four, five, six for the C-pillar. Pardon my closet. <laughs> it's like a closet for my wetsuits. All right. So just like the other side, I'm gonna get this down as far as it'll go, and then I'll try to grab it from below. And so I'm up on the upper section here. This is where the wider channel is. So this is the Phil's Rotary Felt. See the wider channel? You can bring it down to where the wider channel ends. Yeah, maybe a couple millimeters more. That should do it. Let me tuck it in its channel. I think I'd like that in another centimeter. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that back. All right, come on, out you go. Okay, coming down. There we go. I like that better. And we can fine tune it from the top. Okay, that's more better. Probably should have put the bottom piece in first. Nah, the bottom piece goes right in because I got plenty of room to reach in there and shit. We're good.
The segment you need for the rear rail of a door is 10 inches long. trimmed up. Well, well. Looks like a fun project. Yep. There he is. Doing it. Getting the belt window channel put in. Nice. Are we interrupting a video? No, we're now part of it. I'll cut this part out. Okay. Why? I mean, this is like... Okay, I'll put your arrival. Part. I'll leave your arrival in there then. <laughs> While we're digging around inside doors, see all that rust on the inside skin and along edges and the cross rail? A full restoration addresses all these spots by picking all body panels apart. A sand or glass bead blast to wash it all away, welding donor parts in where corrosion ate all the way through, sanding it smooth. Then the paint job makes it all look new again, inside and out. This job started as a paint job and an engine rebuild. Little by little, we wanted more. Once back from the body shop, seeing how important some of these things are that were left unaddressed, brings the realization that this car is still in jeopardy of rusting from the inside out. Outside, fresh paint and POR 15 in many spots will protect. Look what's inside though, and this is just a peek. There's more on rear quarters and elsewhere. So don't take shortcuts if you can avoid it. At this point, I'm wishing we had gone all out. Don't let yourself get to that point. This car will get another resto someday, but for now, we press on regardless. We've come too far. Gonna enjoy this paint job for a good 10 years before pulling her apart a second time. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling and would love for you to help guide it straight down that channel. One, two, three. Stop. We're there. We're there. As a matter of fact, I overshot the channel, so if you pull up about an eighth of an inch, we'll be flush at the bottom of the channel. Perfect. This can be done with one person, but I happen to have my buddy Gary here, so we're two-man jobbing it. So this is the narrow channel. And the narrow channel terminates at this point right here. And that is where I'm gonna snip it. All right, so the fat piece. Going up and around the window frame. The narrow channel will fit. I suspect you may have more wind noise with that piece. Maybe not. Don't know. I'm going with the fat stuff because I have it. All right, let's get a look at this side and how it rolls. It goes up nice for halfway and then it gets a little tough. The other side rolled better than my green car ever rolled. This side, a little tighter, and it could be just because I haven't restored the regulator inside the door. Did not pull it out. I might end up doing that, but at this point in time, it's as is. We did end up pulling glass and window regulators. That's in vlog 27. And in vlog 28, our plating episode, you see those pieces coming back all nice and shiny pretty. There is more rubber that accompanies the doors, uh, like right at the window sill. And we're gonna put that on in another episode. Next up, the weather strip that lines the rear quarter glass. Other videos coming soon include 
brake and fuel lines, a little fun with the fuel tank, and the electrical system. We've got a Facebook page, a Twitter feed, and we're also on Instagram. You can also find us on Patreon, where our supporters have access to bonus videos, unpublished photos, and other cool stuff. Thanks for watching Let's Talk Shop. Hit that thumbs up button, clickety-clack that big red subscribe button, watch our previous episodes, and don't miss out on our upcoming brake and fuel line, fuel tank, and electrical system videos. Peace out, brother.